There's no end in sight for Ukraine's political crisis. Opposition leaders have said that talks with the president are going nowhere, and anti-government protests have now spread outside the capital, Kiev. Well, Nadine Barber joins us now live from Kiev. And uh, Nadine, what is the situation with the protesters now? Well, surely that um, the, the, the trend of uh, anti-government protesters occupying, taking over regional administration buildings, which started on Thursday, has continued. There are now five regional administration buildings that have been taken over by, by protesters, including in the city of Lutsk, where the governor has now reportedly resigned. That's similar to what happened in Lviv, in western Ukraine, uh, on Thursday. Um, there was an attempt also to, uh, to uh, take over the building in, um, in uh, the city of Cherkasy, um, that's now reported to have failed, so the security forces have um, reportedly taken that back. Here in the capital, Kiev, we've just been down to the Agriculture Ministry building. That's been taken over by a small number of protesters. They're planning to make that a headquarters for a movement which they say will allow uh, them to defend themselves uh, against any kind of uh, push by security forces into Independent Square, that, where the protest camp has been going on for many weeks now. Um, we've seen new barricades go up around, mainly made of huge bags of snow, just in case. Um, at the same time, there's been no repeat, surely, of those fierce clashes down at the flashpoint towards Parliament between uh, people throwing Molotov cocktails and security forces firing back. We haven't seen that uh, on Friday. There have been talks between the two sides uh, already, Nadim. They don't seem to have gone anywhere. Are any negotiations continuing? Well, the politicians aren't negotiating as I speak. The, uh, the talks, which lasted four hours uh, on Thursday, ended late in the uh, evening local time. And then uh, the opposition party leaders came to Independence Square here and put the concession that Viktor Yanukovych, the president, had offered to them. They put that to the, the, the crowd here, and it was booed down. The only concession really was that they'd release the uh, activists who'd been arrested since last Sunday, but there was no time scale and that wasn't enough to appease the crowd. The opposition leaders clearly uh, got the message that they couldn't really win them over with that. They said, OK, right, we know what we have to do now. We have to, while remaining peaceful, we have to try and push forward in different ways. What they're now saying is that they're going to extend the, the, the actual area of the uh, protest camp behind me further. That's why the new barricades are going up. Uh, and they're calling on outside help as well. We're hearing uh, criticism from foreign governments, including in Germany and in France, where they've recalled the uh, Ukrainian ambassadors to, uh, to question the way that they've restricted protests and arrested people and allegedly tortured activists in the last few days. Uh, and this is all worrying people here uh, in terms of whether, in fact, there is any, any chance of a negotiated solution, Shuli. Nadim, thanks very much indeed for that. Nadim Baba in Kiev there.